What's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Blake's Take with yours truly, Blake Neiman. And despite being the most successful franchise in NBA history with their record-setting 17 championships, it has still been over a decade since the Boston Celtics were in the NBA Finals. But finally, after two thrilling Game 7s this postseason, Boston emerges as the Eastern Conference champions. They swept the preseason championship favorites Brooklyn Nets, took down the defending champion Milwaukee Bucks in seven games, and then in another seven-game battle, outlasted the one-seed Miami Heat. It is becoming routine for Boston stars Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown to come through on the biggest stage. Tatum is 4-1 and one, and Brown is 5-1 and one in Game 7 so far in their career, so your odds are pretty good when you have those two on your team. Sunday stood true to the odds as Brown and Tatum combined for 50 points while Marcus Smart pitched in a solid 24 himself as the Celtics never trailed against the Heat, although at times it got close down the stretch thanks to the best player of the postseason making things interesting. Jimmy Butler did everything he possibly could for the Heat, playing all 48 minutes, scoring 35 points while snagging 9 boards and playing his usual solid defense. Besides Bam Adebayo's 25 points, Butler didn't get much help outside of that, leaving it up to him to get the Miami Heat back to the NBA Finals. He had a chance to do just that after the Heat stormed back on an 11-0 run to make it just a 2-point game late. After grabbing a rebound on the other end of the floor, Butler dribbled up the court with no one but Al Horford in front of him. Instead of choosing to drive on Horford, Butler pulled up from three in hopes of landing the haymaker blow to the Celtics. But unfortunately for the Heat, the shot landed just short, and now the Heat have to live with the heartbreak of it until next season. As for the Celtics, though, they will continue their championship journey as they are now officially set to square off against the team who has made it to the finals in six of the last eight seasons, the Golden State Warriors. While this Warriors team did dismantle the Dallas Mavericks in just five games, this isn't the same unbeatable juggernaut that would flat out embarrass teams night in and night out. Like the Celtics, the Warriors have had to deal with their fair share of adversity over the past two years in trying to get back to the game's biggest stage. So both of these teams are coming into this finals matchup with something to prove, a chip on their shoulder, so I am excited to see which team will be able to pull it off. I am just can't wait to see the finals and which way it goes. I know these two teams are solid. The Celtics defense is going to be the best defense that the Warriors have faced thus far, so that should be interesting. The high Eastern Conference competition, they've been much more competitive this postseason, so we'll see how that plays a role in helping the Celtics try and slow down what has been a red-hot Warriors team in these playoffs so far. So, hope you all enjoyed that. You can catch all the finals action in the home stretch of the NBA season here on Blake's Take on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. I hope you all enjoyed. You can subscribe and like to stay up to date, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day.